All right, thanking the Lord once again. Coming back with part two. This is going to be part two on the video of with his stripes I am here because I was talking about physical healing and then spiritual healing, which a lot of people don't catch in their scripture. Now, I want to talk about it when you are good and health and strength. You're feeling good in your body, but you are still messed up spiritually. When you have had enough out of people, you done been abused and scarred from people. I'm going into Donna Lawrence right now. Donna Lawrence did a song called I Am Here. And I like the way he broke his lyrics down. Because when you look at a physical healing and then spiritual healing, there is a difference. Now, he started off in the song saying, I got a story to tell about some things that I've been through, but I am here. And then he said, I had some ups and some downs, leveled to the ground, but I'm here. Mm. He said, I had to wrestle all night long, wondering what went wrong, but I'm here. Oh, I'm here. He said, I had some sunshine and some rains, heartache and some pains, I'm here. And then it says, my God has touched me delivered me, set my soul free. My heart is mended. I'm whole again. No more chains are holding me. I got my liberty. I am healed. I am healed today. And then it says, I may have some scars, but I'm healed. Circumstances, but I'm healed. Disappointments, oh, I'm healed. And then, you know, he said it once again, with his stripes, I am here. But I may have some scars. How many of y'all have been scarred from church? Church folks. I want to say that song for a minute because it ties in with what I was talking about when I talk about spiritual healing. That's why I say we know about people when they are sick. A lot of us get sick. And we down and out and then God will heal our body. But I'm talking about when your spirit ain't right. When somebody do you so bad, you feel so scarred for years. You could be a pastor looking at this video or minister of music or somebody just sitting at home who don't go to church no more, who's been tired of the mess in church, which I understand. I don't down folks that don't go to church. I understand why they don't go because I was there also. I told this guy the other day, if I wasn't a minister of music, and I'm just being real when I say this, if I wasn't a minister of music, I probably wouldn't go to church as much as I do because God is in me. I have church right here. Sometimes you got to stay out of some of these buildings because it ain't nothing but a bunch of hell on the inside. And you're not serving God. You're not getting no praise, no nothing in some of these churches. And when you have been scarred spiritually. Mm, see, we all should have scars on us from somebody, somewhere, some church. And I'm not talking about a physical scar you can see on your body. I'm talking about scarred on the inside, but you have learned how to get past it. That's why I said when Jesus took those beatings for us, oh yeah, we were looking at sin and righteousness and how he never committed sin, but he still was beaten, punished, he died for us. Spiritual healing. And when I think about the word just spirit alone, it's powerful. But the question is, what kind of spirit do you have inside of you? The devil spirit? Or do you have the Holy Spirit? Or let's say the Holy Ghost. Because that's what it's all about. And when you have been scarred so much, see, you are in this flesh. Now, we know how you can be scarred behind a man or a woman and family and everything, but let's just tie this in with 
How many have been hurt in the house of God? And when you are in a leadership position and you got a leadership, I mean, you got a, uh, you're in leadership and you got some leading to do and you are fighting. You are so wore out, you tired, you beaten down. Feel like ain't nobody on your side. And that makes it hard for you to keep doing what you're doing for the Lord. See, you got some scars. But see, you can't sing that song right there unless you are healed. You got to sing it. You got to live it. If you ain't healed, it's going to be hard for you to relate to that song. If you ain't had no scars, you can't feel that song. When you say it, well, everybody can't sing that song. I love it. I play that song all the time. And when people hear that with his stripes, I am here. They always want to tie it in with sickness and disease. But how many people are actually healed spiritually? How many? I love when David played that harp. When he played to calm those evil spirits out of Saul. Saul, when you think about that, when you think about people coming in these churches with these evil spirits, they get in the choir stand with these evil spirits. Some of them getting in the pool pit with these evil spirits. You got to drive them evil spirits out of there. Just like when who was that Peter? Oh no, that was Paul had to drive that evil spirit out of that woman. And uh what was her name? I can't think of her name right now, but y'all know who I'm talking about. He had drove that spirit out of that woman. When you are messed up spiritually, you in bad shape. Because you start doing anything. You start getting this mentality where I don't care no more. If this is the way people are going to be, well, I'm going to start getting even with them. I'm going to do what they do. I'm tired of people doing me wrong. No, you don't play tick for tat and tat for tick. You don't do that. You put the God, you put God on them. And I know that's hard for most of us to do when it's flesh, but you have to let the Lord handle, handle it. Many men said in a video a while back about how when he was dealing with some issues and he went to church and gave it all over to God, and the service went smooth. I'm going to tell you something, especially when you are a minister of music. Man, your spirit can get killed very quick in the snap of a finger. Church folks know how to push your button. That's why Jesus had to check them all the time. So how many have their spirits healed? Spiritual healing. We all got scars. But you know what you do with those scars? Use those scars as a reminder how to keep moving forward and press toward the mark, toward the prize of the higher calling. You look back on those scars and smile. And say, you know what, I'm past that. Because you know why? You're going to have some more people come your way that's not going to be for you. They're going to be against you. But if God is before you, who can be against you? So you got to speak these scriptures in your life and live them. There's too many people just quoting the Bible. I hate it. So many just quoting. Half of them don't even understand what they're quoting. You need to live it. That's the, that's the key right there. Live this word. What's the use of talking about the word of God and you're not using it in your life? You're not, you're not walking in the Lord the way the Lord tell you to walk. You're not talking the way the Lord tell you to walk. I'm talking, I mean, what's the use? Are you spiritually healed? Or do you have that spirit of the devil inside of you? See, when Christ, when Christ said it is finished, he meant it. It was finished. He laid down his life for all of us unworthy folks. Oh man, when I think about that, I just get happy. What greater love is there than the man that would lay down his life for a friend? How many are scarred spiritually? Get you some spiritual healing. You talk about physical healing all the time, but See, you got people right now walking around in good health and strength, but they don't have no peace. They're not happy. 
They depending on material things. They don't have the spirit of the Lord in them. They caught on they self. But when you walk in the spirit, uh-oh. When you in the spirit and you got that, that close relationship with the Lord and you feel the Lord that close with you, then you're on the right path. But if you are far from the Lord and you getting caught up with everybody else and then getting even with folks, See, first of all, the Lord say, vengeance is mine. I will get those who punish you. So I'm just, in this video, encouraging you and encouraging you as well to don't be so caught up in people. And look at that scripture as spiritual healing also. That's why I say I'm not knocking nobody on what they think. Just look at it as both ways. It's fine if you think, if you, don't let me, don't let me say think. It's fine to say that, okay, he's healing my body. But think about your soul and your spirit. See, a lot of people only pray when they get down. That's the only reason I'm saying this. They pray when they get down. They pray when they get sick. As soon as God heals their body, they forget about God, and they back to punishing their body. See, but if you have that spiritual healing, then you're going to know better not to do what you've been doing. See, first of all, this body is a temple. It belongs to God. Even though most people don't live it, don't think that, they live and do anything in their body, but this belongs to God. He told us, present our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. You don't punish your temple. See, a lot of problems we have because we do what we want to do. We abuse stuff. Some people like to overeat. Some people going to drink they self to death. Some going to smoke they self to death. Some going to put all the drugs they bought and then they did. And then somebody going to get up and have nerve to say, oh, they left too early. Well, they took they self out. That's why I think about prosperity. I thank God for health and strength more than anything. Because if your body is not in good health and strength, what good are you to the kingdom? You can't do nothing. You're going to be laying around sick. Health and strength is so important, people. You can have all the money in the world and be on your deathbed. That's why I like to talk about spiritual healing. Spiritual healing. And if you marry, make sure you're getting your sexual healing, like Marvin Gaye said. Oh, see, I keep it real. Because you need your sexual healing. But notice I said if you are married. Make sure you're getting your sexual healing. You got your physical healing. But do you have your spiritual healing? With that being said, I know that might be over some folks' head. But that's the way it came out. Y'all take care and remain blessed.